Hey everyone, we got a little over an hour left to stream, so this is a good time to finish off these side cases, I think. We're getting close to having most of them, most of them done. Because we only have a few left in uh, Yagami's office that we can't do yet. Uh, there's like three requests left at uh, Tender, and then there's these ones here. So, not too bad. Because they're outside yelling at me. Are they gonna follow me in here, you think? Oh, well, it's this woman who's been staring at me. That's probably Kiriko Kuyama. Sir, I noticed you're staring. Another one of Kiriko's admirers? <laughs> she gets more popular every day. Is that popular, huh? Oh yes, she's a real enchantress. Talk to her once and you'll be head over heels. <sighs> what a shame that she's married. Get too close and it'll only end in pain. This guy seems to know quite a bit about Kiriko. I should dig a little deeper. And have you ever met the current husband? Uh... I've spoken with him. I believe his name is Kojiro. He's just your run-of-the-mill salary man, but he's madly in love with Kiriko's hand. This guy's probably the one doing all those things so that he can break them up. He swings by after work every day, and she makes him coffee. Mm -hmm. He comes by for coffee every day, so he'll show up today too? Yes. Oh, I'm sure he will. But people really like Kiriko-san, huh? Oh, oh yeah. You should see how many customers hit on, but if they know who knew about her mm -hmm. past, why? What about it? Well, apparently Kiriko-chan is already on her fourth husband. She's been divorced three times. Huh? Three divorces at her age? Her husband must know about it, but why would he have told his mother? Apparently, all three of the previous husbands ran away from her. And why is that? Because they were all almost murdered. In fact, her second husband has actually died. You're sure all of this is true? It's a little hard to believe. Well, I'm sure. That's the story uh, that, uh, that put this cafe on the map. Apparently, there was poison found in his food. She wasn't charged? Uh, so I recall, the incident happened at his workplace, so there wasn't enough proof to arrest her. Oh. oh, but I assure you, it wasn't here at this cafe. I see. Hmm, maybe the mother's suspicions weren't completely off the mark. Anyway, Kiriko Chan is clearly the kind of woman who's out of reach for most guys. <laughs> that wouldn't stop me from trying. I think I could tame the devil in her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gather you've got your own little crush on her. <laughs> what? Oh no, she's married! I'm just saying, I think we'd have been a good match. Better than that dull ass husband she's got anyway. In other words, this guy's crushing on Kiriko chan hard. He wasn't wrong when he called her an enchantress. Oh, speak of the devil. There's her husband now. Well, I better go back to work. Don't want my manager to see me slacking off. Maybe if I get closer, I'll be able to hear Koji or song's conversation. No, I don't need a disguise. They don't know what I look like. Oh no. Hey, you're looking pretty rough, man. You under the weather? Ah. Yeah, I guess. But maybe I'm just tired. Maybe it's just been a lot of stomach aches and nausea uh. lately. Doesn't seem like coffee would be the best cure then. You must really love your wife. <laughs> I beg to differ, Hirasawa. Coffee made with love is the best medicine I could ask for. Hmm. Stomach pains and nausea line up with what Shizue-san told me. Here you go. One hot cup of coffee. Black, like you like it. Thanks, Kiriko-chan. Oh, I see you have a guest. Nice to meet you. I'm Hirasawa. Nah. This guy's incredible, Kiriko. He's from our ad agency, and he's done all kinds of commercials, you know? Incredible! It sounds like you really know your stuff. You have to be so clever to work on ads these days. I can see it in your eyes. They're quite clever and very lovely. <laughs> lovely, you say? <laughs> you think so? Ah, Ko-chan, why don't we invite Hirasawa-san over to our house for dinner? <laughs> That's a great idea. Kiriko is a lovely cook. I'll let you work on the details then. I'll be looking forward to seeing you here, Asawa-san. Of course, I'd be happy to come. <sighs> Enchantress indeed. She was flirting with that guy with her husband sitting right there. Is he that confident or just dense? He doesn't seem the slightest bit concerned. It's actually paying that. This way, son suspects Kiriko of poisoning his food and considering that he drinks coffee here daily, It'd be pretty tough to poison coffee, but I should check it out just in case. Hmm. 
Where is our cat friend? There he is. Oh, look, a cat. What the? Hmm? What's this white powder? Sugar? Something's off about this. Kira Kukson made a point of saying it was black coffee when she brought it out. Hmm. In that case, what's this powder? It could be anything. I didn't see anyone smoking, and there's nothing in the ashtray. That pretty much rules out a poison cigarette. Suspicious. This is the water that Kojiro's friend was drinking. Uh. Wait, he came to a cafe and only ordered water? What a cheap ass. He's making a big waves at an ad agency. He probably makes big money too. How stingy uh. can he be? I can never be friends with a guy like that. Semen. Black. They didn't add sugar to it. It's patterned semen. So the thing is a strong scent here. It was almost like garlic, but could it be poison? Let's see. If she knows he'd come here to drink coffee every day, isn't it possible she could be mixing tiny doses of poison into each cup? That would explain why he feels so ill. This is bad. This guy could be in serious danger soon. I think I need to talk to the guy. Hopefully he hasn't gotten far. It is up here. Excuse me. Hey, you're Kojiro Kuyama uh, san, right? Can I talk to you for a sec? Eh? Hmm? Who are this you? Is Yagami. I'm Yagami, the detective your mother hired. <sighs> oh, right. Mom did mention something about that. She can be so dramatic. Well, her worries may not be as unfounded as you think. Mm. What do you mean? This is gonna be... I have to be, be convincing. How should I lead into this? That cup of coffee you just drank, did you add sugar by any chance? Yeah. No, I take my coffee black. Mm. Well, that's a bit strange because there was a white substance on the edge of your cup. And to make matters worse, it smelled of garlic, which is not far off from a poison called arsenic. Eh? Ar arsenic? I haven't run any tests or anything, but I understand you've been feeling ill for some time, am I right? You should know, nausea and stomach pains are symptoms consistent with the ingestion of arsenic. <sighs> no way. It could be a coincidence, right? Sir, you're aware your husband has been divorced three times, oh. aren't you? Yes, I'm aware. I didn't tell my mother that, though. Were you also aware that her second husband died of poisoning? Eh? What? I'm guessing that's news to you, then. Mm. Well, I'm sure it wasn't this, something she wanted to talk about. Listen, detective, I know what you're getting at, but I trust my wife, and I'm not going to stop. Hmm. This is something I'm going to get through. Is it true that you've been in a series of unfortunate accidents lately, sir? Have you considered the possibility that someone could be causing them? What? You're a persistent one, aren't you? That said, mm -hmm. uh, have you noticed anything unusual? Well, sometimes on my commute home from work, I feel like I'm being followed by a man. That's interesting. When, when was the most recent, uh... And you felt. Mm. Let's see. Oh, I remember now. It was the day I headed straight home without visiting Kiriko-chan at the cafe. In other words, on days Kiriko-san is off duty. Did you ever feel endangered when you're being followed? Well, I wrote it all off, but I did notice that a brick fell from a window once and I got pushed into huh? the street. Wait, what? You wrote all that off as coincidence? You don't think the stalker might have anything to do with it? Mm. But who would be able to get me? I don't know, but I think maybe it's time we find out. But how? Well, the ideal way would be to lure him into a place where he thinks you're alone. Okay, how about... Maybe I could bait him into an alley. Huh? huh? Are you sure you want to take that risk? Hi! If it'll prove my wife is innocent in all this, I'll do anything. Fair enough. Then I'll follow the stalker from behind. But can you give me more details on the guy you think is following you? Well, he was smallish, about 5'2". He wore a hoodie and sunglasses to hide his face. That's pretty suspicious. And where is the company you work uh, for located, Kojiro-san? It's called Kita Electric, right here in Kamurocho. Well, I should just find the nearest alley, right? Yep. Yeah, that'd be great. Don't try to drag them too far. Nice, Kojiro-san is off from work. Kojiro-san, you need to act 
Natural. Start walking when I give the signal. Got it. Okay. Now find our guy. Oh, there's a cat. Dang. Oh, look, a cat. guy in a hoodie and glasses. Suspicious. There, that's him. Because your son, I've got the guy in my sights. Start walking and don't look back. Uh, okay, but you'll say me something goes wrong, right? Alright, time for another tailing sequence. The outline uh, upgrade that I got is super helpful. is kind of tall compared to this guy. right here. Tailing him. Okay, I see where he's headed. Literally nowhere you can go, so.
Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh. Huh? Hmm? Wait, aren't you the other waiter at the yeah. cafe? Mean to be good? You work with Kiryuko chan, right? <sighs> I'll explain how easy it was to get poison into your coffee, Kojiro san. Ah? Shit, you're dead. Yagami san! Stay back. And go call the cops. Okay. Huh? Out of the way. <laughs> I'm surprised he survived that. Dude did not stand a chance. What was a random Tonfa in the room, right? Hey. Why? Why were you trying to kill Kojiro san? Because he was in the way between me and Kiriko chan. Hmm? In the way? What's your relationship with her anyway? My relationship? It's destiny! Destiny that we would be together! Huh? What? I just need him gone, and then Kiriko chan will be mine! Stop your squirming! He didn't even grab him at that, but. Let go of me, damn you! Are you okay? What in the world just happened? Hmm. I'm not completely sure myself, but I'm sure the cops are gonna take their time finding out. Well, apparently, Kiriko-chan rejected that waiter three years back. He's been stalking her ever since, even getting jobs at the same place she does. I figured she would have noticed. Didn't that bother Kiriko-chan? <sighs> well, people confess they loved her all the time. She didn't think much of it, I guess. That's a unique problem to have. I guess he finally snapped on and convinced himself I was the problem. That certainly explains why I've had so many near-fatal encounters. And he kept surviving them, so he finally resorted to poison. Do you think he killed her second husband as well? I'll be willing to bet on it, but I suppose we'll find out after they interrogate him. He's probably tried to kill every guy that got between him and Kiriko-chan. You know, I was expecting Kiriko-chan. I'm such a horrible mother. That's not true, Mom. You just didn't get a chance to get to know her yet. I think she's easily misunderstood. Mm. Well, you're not a terrible mom. You noticed something was wrong. Your, your, your suspicions on who were wrong, but yeah. I'm impressed with your son. Your trust in Kiriko-san didn't waver for a moment. Of course not. I'm her husband. Anyway, son, thank you for getting to the bottom of this. No problem. I hope you do have a wonderful future together. Free of accidents. That's the achievement. Local detective. The devil wife. Oh, leaves do. It's chow time. Man, that's good. All right, do we have any more cases that are going on? Yeah, see, so we got three more here. This one requires me to be have reputation level 50. And I have to defeat all the Kane gang leaders. Great. I need reputation level 35 or higher and cleared. Please find my son. We've done that. We actually might get reputation level 35 or higher when I make a new friend. I need 45 or higher, so I gotta get another like 11 people. And I need to come in a quest. And I gotta clear 49 side cases and get reputation level 50 for that. So these two are not available until I make friends with everyone. Seems like 50 is the maximum number of friends. Hey, Meowth appeared, guys. Alright, let's go to Cafe Majori. Domo. Mushmushi. Mushmushi. Oh, I didn't take any hits from him, so. Okay, so there's a quest here, right? Oh, maybe not. Let's do cat. Oh, you know what? I, actually, I'm gonna go do the cat. Well, the um, the side quest in the uh, Deborah. Um, what 
hotel. That's what I mean. New Deborah Hotel first. Uh, reason for that is because the, uh... The reason for that is because that one's only available at night, and it's nighttime. Hey, dude. Excuse me. Are you Shimazu-san? I'm Yagami, a detective. Yes. My name is ya Ma Mamoru Shimazu. I've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. Pleasure. So, what can I do for you? You have a job for me, right? Yes, um... I need you to catch a ghost. A ghost tenant. Huh? Yeah. You're gonna have to elaborate on that. Well, I'm moving into a new apartment next month. And I've heard it's haunted. By a ghost. Hmm. You're basing this on rumor? Hi. Yes. When I went to introduce myself to the new neighbors, they told me all about it. Apparently, you can hear the voice of a woman crying in the room while we're renting. Hmm? How does a woman cry and make it supernatural? It's not all. A woman has been gliding through the hallway dressed in all in white with jet black hair. The neighbor got scared, and that's when they discovered no such woman had, uh, had lived there recently. At least not legally. Okay, I guess I'm getting a little creeped out. The landlord is supposed to notify if there have been any incidents. And they didn't say anything of the sort. I see. My girlfriend and I are actually planning on moving in together into this apartment. We were in a long distance relationship, but then she quit her job and took a chance on moving here. We even picked it out together. It's a little pricey, but it was perfect otherwise. <laughs> This is her. Isn't she a beauty? Her name is Yukako. Yeah, I guess she wouldn't want to be build a relationship in a haunted apartment. Yeah. Huh? Yes, we do. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> if we can prove that some kind of tragic happened in there, we can negotiate a price down. Right? Wait, you're okay with the ghost, as long as the price is right? What about your girlfriend, man? <laughs> Don't worry, she's oblivious. She couldn't sense a ghost if it sneezed on her. Hmm. I, I see. I'm not sure that's the problem. Anyway, how exactly do I fit into this? I want you to investigate if the apartment is haunted or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll do my best. I'm gonna charge you 80,000 on this. Ghosts are extra. No problem. I look forward to the results. Tell you what. Let me call the landlord to arrange for you to stay the night. Huh? Huh? Stay the night? <laughs> of course. A ghost's not gonna appear if you aren't in the room at night, guy. <sighs> right. I guess I'll give it a try. Yay. Thanks for waiting, Shimizu-san. Oh, this is Hasegawa-san, the landlord here. <sighs> You're a stubborn one, Shimizu-san. I told you a thousand times, there's no ghost here. That's why I've called in a professional to verify it. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. You some kind of spirit no. medium? No. No, I'm Yagami. A detective. <laughs> nice. A detective. That's fine. Can you clear up these ghost shenanigans once and for all, then? You know what they say. Every dog has a wolf shadow. Excuse me. Just be clear. There's never been any incidents in the room, such as an accidental death. Nope. No way. This property's totally renovated, and the lot was empty before it got built. I wouldn't even justify these outrageous claims with an investigation. Well, let me see what I can find out, and I'll let you know when I'm done. You detective always find yourselves contracting to cook? Or contracting to cooks? All the same, here's the keys. Good luck to me. Thanks. I turn on the electricity and water for you, too. I'm not particularly motivated here, but I guess I should key sweep the room. Alright, guys, we're gonna need to get our. Nothing here. Pretty normal for a vacant apartment. Not much else to do, so I guess I'll check the room. We need our EMF. Mm -hmm. We need our spirit box. What was that about dog shadow and wolves? What the? Got locked. I don't think anyone could enter through these windows. Hey. Windows are shut and mm -hmm. locked. Guess that does rule that out. Hmm. 
Ah. What's this? Hmm. Old Missourian? What's this doing here? We'll set for signs of intrusion first. Hmm. What the? Hmm? Window won't open. Nobody's getting in from here. Hmm. Water's well, apparently on because it's wet here. You even got some buildup. I don't mean it's getting some good use, I suppose. The question, why is it getting good use if nobody's living here? What the? Look, we've got a squatter. The front door should have been locked before the window opened it. Why would anyone trespass in here before move people moved in? A squatter, perhaps? This is a very tiny apartment. An earring and sign someone was using the water. What's the hmm. link? Hmm, kind of inconclusive. Pretty bored. Nothing to do, but... Talk to myself and play the guessing game. Hmm? What was that? Huh? Huh? What was that? No way, that was a ghost, right? It had legs. I was having like the president to chase it down. We gotta go on a chase sequence with the ghost. I approve. Oh, she's running through the street in her bare feet. Detective, what were you doing in that room? Hey. This is your earring, right? Did you even realize you dropped it? I guess you said talking. I could always call the police on you for trespassing. <laughs> Never heard the saying, dead men tell no lies? Fine, you don't want to talk. I should probably bring Shimizu and the landlord into this. Hello? What's going on, younger son? Apologies for calling so late, but I caught it. The ghost. Huh? So it really was haunted? Wait, you caught it? Yeah, but it won't talk. Sorry to ask, but can you come down here and call your landlord too? Okay, we'll be there as soon as possible. Yagami-san! Is that the ghost? My, my. Since when do ghosts start walking on perfectly corporeal legs? Yeah. Uh, huh? Is that you, hmm? you, Yukako? Yukako? You know her? She's my girlfriend, the one who's supposed to be an Akita. Huh? But her hair. <sighs> you idiot. It's a wig. Why'd she have to change her entire clothes? Choto. Yukako, what? What were you thinking? Hey. Yukako-san, I think it's time to come clean, wouldn't you agree? It's because the room is too expensive. If we could prove it was haunted, we could get a lower price, right? Don't tell me that's why you did this. Hey. Right so? My darling Mamoru. I just wanted to help ease the burden of looking after me. <laughs> so I came to the city a little earlier than we planned. <sighs> I'm kind of lost for words. You do all this work just to for this? Yukaku, you, you did all this for me? What a wonderful girl, my little melon pie. Huh? My dashing sweet, I would die for you. I love you, my sugar plum. I will love you until death do us part. No, our love will endure beyond that. Not even death can tear us apart. Hey. Okay, you two. I'd say get a room, but that's the crux of the problem, isn't it? How'd you get the key, anyway? 
I saw the landlord hiding under the gas meter in the hallway, so I got a duplicate made. Oh, I guess that's usually where you put it before people move in. Timizu-san, you really had no part in this? He didn't. I didn't tell my love about the planet, but I never imagined he would hire a detective. You should have told me, baby. But I didn't want you to get wrapped up in this. My strawberry shortcake. I had no idea you were being so considerate of me. Hmm. Guys, I don't mean to drop this tender moment, but you've got to consider something. Your lease hasn't started yet, so technically this is trespassing. Yeah. What? That's why I didn't want to get you involved, my beloved. I get it's really a up to your landlord at this point. That's a guy, what's up? What is wrong with you two? Are you both insane? <laughs> no, but we're insanely in love. The only thing that's insane here is the world. The market price for rent should never have gotten this high. I mean, I agree. Chimizu san, I won't sue you, but all the same, no way I'm renting you that room. Huh? But the contract? To hell with the contract! You tried to scam me into thinking an accident happened. And then you hired a detective. All to catch your own girlfriend in the act of trying to get me to lower the price by parading around as a ghost. <laughs> I get it. You're jealous of how madly in love we are, aren't you? Chimizu san, maybe you should quit while you're ahead. Don't worry, Mama Roo. It'll be fine. <laughs> what do you mean, my pineapple dream? We just need to find a room that's really sketchy and haunted. No ghost could come between a love this strong. You're so right, baby. Ah, the life is good. I sure did a quick 180 on that one. These two, are, those two are infuriating. I hope I never have to deal with them again. With you there. Okay. So that happened.